Good morning all. As you all know our regulator has issued the latest Basel guidelines, these are popularly referred to as Basel 4 guidelines. We all need to chart out the strategy for the implementation. It is a Herculean task. I believe we need to do parallel calculations of Basel 2, 3 and 4. Yes it is. As our current systems are outdated, we need to invite multiple technology vendors to implement these guidelines. Why do we need multiple vendors? Unfortunately, this is true. There are various complex steps involved in the compliance of these guidelines like data sourcing, data governance, data standardization, computation and reporting. Different vendors support different process steps. There are some vendors who support more than one step but have different license fee. So effectively we need to have multiple licenses and coordination of all these vendors. Hence it is more than challenging. This is absolutely correct. We start this technology project with an aim to complete in three months and end up in three years with a lot of issues. The real pain points are the data quality, data reconciliation and data adjustments. So do I need to go for a lot of technical resource recruitment? Actually, guys, I have a great news, which is a panacea for all our problems. What is that good news? BBPL has launched its smart apps for Basel Metrics, which is a one-stop solution. What is BPPL? BPPL stands for Basel Practitioners Private Limited. They are offering a cloud-based Basel solution. In fact, I have invited the company representative for a brief demo of their product. That is excellent. You are the go-to man. Let us start the demo without losing much time. Hey, good morning. I'm Sri Rangrela from Basel Practitioners Private Limited. It's a pleasure meeting you all, and I know you are eagerly waiting to see our demo. So without further ado, let's start the demo right away. Basel Practitioners Private Limited has been incorporated by a group of seasoned bankers, risk professionals, technology architects, and IT specialists with an aim to make a change in the BFSI landscape by offering a cloud-based cost-effective solution in risk, finance, treasury, and insurance domains. This is very nice to know, but seeing is believing. So please demo your product features. Absolutely. Let me first briefly explain, however, the high-level process steps and implementation of capital adequacy requirements followed by the product demo. Hope that works for you all. That is perfect. So in any risk and analytics space, we have five key component processes. And to note, each process can have multiple sub-processes. The first process is data ingestion from bank source systems to the application ecosystem. We need an ETL application to do this. Once the data is loaded into the application ecosystem, we are required to prepare the data for computation, which includes data quality checking, data reconciliation, and even data adjustments. And you need multiple applications to achieve this data preparation. The quality tested and reconciliated data is used for any computations, be it in capital adequacy, liquidity, profitability, or any other thing. This computation process generally needs three important steps. Firstly, we need data standardization, confirmation, or reconciliation, which are all the same, to bring consistency in the data being sourced from multiple source systems and to keep in sync with regulatory requirements. The next being parameterization. Generally, the vendors don't give this flexibility to the user so that they can create dependency for the ongoing dynamic changes from the regulator. But this is also an important component of any risk application. The last and most important is achieving the complex computation in a business user-friendly manner. Unfortunately, it is still a black box in most of the solution, but we are bringing perfect business flavor for this component. And you need different apps to achieve all these tasks. We need reporting because the output of all these calculations need to be reported to the management stakeholders and to regulators. But only reporting is not sufficient because you should have the ability to reconcile and demonstrate the data lineage. This is a stringent requirement from BCBS 2 to the 9 point of view. And I need not say how complex this is, right? Because you know better than me about how many tools you've been using to achieve this, which are still work in progress. Across all these things, you need data dictionaries and documents. These will audit you in both internal and external auditing. I'm happy to say that BPPL Smart Apps is going to address all these issues in a business-friendly and cost-effective manner. But with this brief, let me hand over the session to my colleagues to start the product demo of all these features. Now over to the team.